Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And um, today I am going to show you. Okay, so here's our line of uh, fans and filters that I wanted to show. If you really are kind of new to the 3D printing scene um, or just to, don't really know a lot about this, uh, let me just kind of start with the basics. You know, so we make 3D printer enclosures uh, and, you know, a lot of users are kind of, um, a, a, they want to get better quality prints, which our enclosures do, but they're also kind of uh, concerned about like the health and efficacy and just like the, the cleanliness of their printing environment. And so that's where we develop these, uh, these options so that it kind of helps the, the air stay cleaner inside of the uh, print chamber for better prints. And then also it keeps some of like the possible negative uh, call it off gassing uh, from 3D printing inside the printer or uh, it helps filter things out. So uh, <clears throat> we, we make these fans that attach onto our 3D printer enclosures. Um, if you have a different printer enclosure, you could probably use these. Uh, you might have to just do some, uh, some of your own modification, but uh, it, we use 105 millimeter uh, hole spacing uh, for ours, um, or like with our recirculating filter, you could actually probably even just set that inside of your uh, enclosure and it would be functional. Um, <clears throat> but it, so these are all compatible and uh, easily bolt onto our enclosure line. And uh, the, they all kind of have a little bit of a different purpose. So uh, starting at the beginning, this fan right here, is just a fan. Uh, it doesn't, th this one is not filtered, but the way that we design this is uh, it's easy to connect with uh, just a, a USB cable. And so even if you have like a old uh, cell phone charger, you can um, plug that into like uh, the, the old cell phone charger brick, or uh, if you've got a, a, a uh, electrical uh, like power strip. A lot of them have USB uh, plugs in them now to, to power them. So this is our lightest duty fan. And the thing about this is uh, it moves about a hundred, uh, about 104 uh, CFM uh, or like cubic feet per minute. And it runs at, uh, I think 1500 RPM. It's basically dead silent. You, you barely even know that it's on. So if, the, if, if quietness is uh, important to you, this is actually a really nice option. So with this, you can kind of see that we've made this cone in the back and we've designed this so that it will fit right onto a four inch exhaust hose. That's like a common uh, hose that is used for like your, your clothes dryer. You can get that stuff at uh, like Home Depot and it's available on, uh, on Amazon. You can get it in different lengths and stuff like that. So with this, like you would use this if you <clears throat> want to exhaust the fumes from your 3D printer outside. So the people that are doing like SLA or like resin printing, this is pretty ideal. Um, and then, you know, if you just want some assurance that any fumes that are coming off of the printer go outside, then you just have to attach a hose right onto this guy. It's real easy. It takes just a few seconds and point it out a window. Um, and uh, so that's our uh, cheapest, easiest option uh, to kind of help get things uh, cleaned up inside of your work area. Now, the next option is uh, call it our mid-range, but actually between these two, these are both uh, fans and filters <clears throat> and they serve different purposes. So this one is an exhaust fan, meaning it will uh, exhaust the air out of your enclosure. So, and then this one is a recirculating fan, meaning it will recirculate the air inside the enclosure. Now, where you might want, uh, the, like I said, these have two different purposes. The exhausting fan is good when you want to uh, basically pull the heat out of your enclosure. So if you're printing with PLA and PETG, um, and then maybe even like TPU, lower temperature stuff, uh, then this is actually pretty ideal here. So this actually uses the same body as our fan here, but then we've uh, implemented this uh, uh, this filter. This is a uh, HEPA, a carbon 
infused HEPA filter that um, will basically pull down, uh, it, it will filter out uh, particulate down to 0.3 micron. So that, that's, a, that's a typical HEPA filter. Um, and on this one, this uses a basic DC barrel plug uh, that we include like this nice, uh, like, um, uh, uh, like motor control so you can uh, control the speed with it um, and again this is on uh, this one this fans a little bit faster um, however with the uh, it, with the filter it slows the air down a little bit at 95 CFM uh, and it's about it, it runs at about 3,000 rpm so still very very quiet um, so again getting back to why you would pick this if you're printing with PLA and PETG mostly uh, those are those would be the most popular uh, filaments for this this, then you actually kind of want to keep your chamber a little bit cooler inside the enclosure. And so like it, as it, with your heat bed, it heats up and it, it builds up heat inside the enclosure. Uh, with especially with PLA, that can lead to uh, heat creep inside of your extruder. And then basically what would be like a nozzle clog or it, it would just it kind of stop printing because the filament is heating up inside the uh, extruder before it can kind of reach the, the nozzle. So this kind of keeps your enclosure cool so that uh, your filament will keep flowing and it won't uh, soften up before it gets to the extruder. Uh, pretty important stuff there. So again, uh, the filter on this one, uh, HEPA with uh, it's charcoal infused or, car or, or carbon infused. So the HEPA portion takes care of particulate, like I said, down to about 0.3 micron. And then the charcoal portion of it, you can kind of see that it's a kind of like it has a gray tint to it. That takes care of fumes and smells. Now, this is a pretty small, uh, this is a pretty small it, filter. Um, <clears throat> however, it, with 3D printing, it doesn't release a whole lot of particulate. I would expect this one to last like one to 200 hours. Uh, and one thing that is great about the way that we design these is if you've ever bought filters before, you might find that the filter or the, the, uh, the, the uh, like the filter enclosure, like a, just a regular air filter for a house, um, the buying the, like the filter motor an assembly is relatively cheap, but then the filters can be really, really expensive. We design these so that you can get these filters right on Amazon, and they're like five bucks a piece. Super cheap, easy to replace, and uh, we think that that is a, a big plus for these guys. So uh, again, you know, it's a relatively small filter, and I would expect this one to last about 100 hours of print time. It could last a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. Um, and uh, again, it's HEPA uh, for the particulate, and then it's got uh, the charcoal to help with the smells and the fumes. Um, so now that kind of covers that one. Now let's move over to our, uh, to our recirculating fan. And so with this one, like I said, this one actually recirculates the air inside of your enclosure so where this is a really good idea is for filaments that are basically you could do petg with this but um i would also uh, if you're doing abs and if you're doing asa the higher temp filaments that's where this one is ideal because it's keeping the heat and it's recirculating the heat inside the enclosure so that produce that leads to the, having the enclosure in and of itself helps with like ha, helps with these high temp um, filaments because it will reduce warp and then keeping the heat inside and keeping a uniform temperature inside the enclosure with this recirculating filter will keep your prints looking better with less warp so uh, the way that this one works like i said it recirculates the air inside the enclosure. This one has a HEPA filter up front that is super, super easy to replace. I can even do it with one hand while I'm on the phone here. And so uh, really pretty simple little HEPA filter here. And then on the back, so replacing the HEPA filter takes all of 30 seconds on this one. And then on the back, these are the mounting screws. The, the hardware, of course, comes with it 
and uh, is ready to mount onto our enclosures. So if I take the back off, then we can actually see the inside. And that's where we have our two uh, carbon filter uh, cartridges. So these are done uh, in series. So the air actually flows through one, through the second, and then out. So you get uh, a, a kind of a double dose of uh, filtration there to just, again, help the smells and help the the fumes to reduce to be a little bit less when uh, you're printing with especially with ABS ASA that stuff stinks pretty good stinks pretty bad rather and uh, and so this really helps with uh, some of those smells <clears throat> and uh, so it, again it, uh, on the for, to replace these these are relatively uh, once you get the back open it's probably a five minute process uh, once you get the back open. You just pull these out. Again, these are available on Amazon. I, I wanna say they are, I, I think $4 max um, uh, for each one. And you can, even, or you can get a kit of like six of them. And uh, really, they actually work really well. Um, and so it, all in all, uh, with this one, you know, this is a little bit of a bigger filter on this one. And so, you know, we put this one at about 250 hours of use. And uh, same with the, 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 the carbon or the charcoal filters on the back there, about 250 hours worth of use. Um, and uh, you, can you can replace it a little sooner or a little later, depending on, on you know, your, your, your uh, kind of like call it safety or, or, or it, just the results that you're getting, but uh, about 250 hours. So uh, oh, I did want to show you again, uh, this one also is on our 12 volt uh, DC barrel plug, super easy to, to connect. I mean, it's a, it, you cannot mess up the wiring there. It's just a, you, you simply plug that in. And if we turn this on, you'll see that it's relatively quiet. So this is the louder of uh, the two, I think, a little bit louder. But when you actually have this inside of the enclosure, um, I think that you would find that it, that it's uh, the enclosure actually makes it pretty quiet. And so here's our other fan currently running. If you can even hear it, it's it, it's quite quiet. So again, the speed control is nice because then you can even have it at halfway on, and then it is it's very quiet. And so those are the fans and filters that we make for our 3D printer enclosures. We actually make a wide variety of enclosures for different printers and uh, laser engravers. Um, we even have uh, like rated laser shielding panels for our laser engraver uh, enclosures. And that includes our uh, resin enclosures that use a UV rated panel to keep uv rays out out of your uh, resin or your resin printers um so <clears throat> if you have any questions based on you know what i showed you today i always seem to miss a thing or two uh that, that people ha have questions about i'm happy to answer them here at clearview plastics we're we're actually a really small company um yeah yeah we've actually worked with uh a wide variety of people from hobbyists to universities to the government. Uh, we've made these enclosures for a huge range of people. And nonetheless, out of that, we're super appreciative guys. We like helping everyone. So if you have any questions, uh, hit us up at uh, clearviewplastic.com um, or uh, you can pop us a qu some replies on this video too. Have a good one, guys. Peace.